Yeah. Hi, it's Des here. We're at Mobile World Congress 2018 in beautiful Barcelona. We're here at the Ericsson Pavilion, and I have Ruben Mertz, the 5G architect for Swisscom with me. Hi, Ruben, how are you? Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm great, thank you very much. Thanks so much for making time to chat with me. Uh, for folk who don't know you potentially, could you just quickly introduce yourself and your role within Swisscom? Of course, um, I'm a 5G architect at Swisscom. I'm an engineer by background, and my goal is to make sure that we get the uh, 5G out at Swisscom as early as possible. Fantastic. So we hear a lot about 5G, 5G core. For folk who don't actually know what that even is, could you potentially maybe just quickly introduce what 5G core is in the network and, and how you've come to have this problem to solve and the approach you've taken so far? Yeah, of course. Um, well, you know, 5G, I mean, you want to deploy a system and of course you have the radio, but beyond the radio, you need a port. So you need a part that's going to make sure that traffic is being sent to the internet, you want to have an infrastructure that's been virtualized and, and you want to have an old framework that will automate and orchestrate and all of these things. Fantastic. Now I know you're collaborating and, and working with Ericsson on a range of things, 5G, 5G core, network slicing. Give us some insight into the components that you're working with, with Ericsson in collaboration and, and the types of benefits you've gotten from that. Right. Um, so we've been working very closely with Ericsson for the past one and a half to two years. Uh, we have a very, very tight relationship. And, and here in Barcelona, we've been working uh, on network slicing. Uh, this is work we've been doing together now for more than a year. Um, we had demos in the past, and, and the demo that we have here, we're focusing really on, on applying, finding out what's the right use case for us. Right. Uh, give us some examples of the use cases that you're going to be taking from the collaboration work you're doing now and taking out into production, into the, into the actual world to your customers. Yeah. Um, so, for us, network slicing is an important mean to make sure that we can open up our infrastructure to other use cases. And um, we're focusing heavily on, on mission critical and on industry 4.0. And, and we're looking at three to four sectors, um, namely public safety, um, public transport, that's the case that we have here, uh, manufacturing and uh, utilities. Fantastic. I think one of the things we've seen with what Ericsson's doing with the 5G, uh, I guess, you know, turn on 5G, 5G enablement, is that we've seen with the distributed cloud, with their OSS, their business support systems, their network slicing technology, uh, companies like Cisco have been able to kind of essentially buy off the shelf this capability and get uh, kind of a zero to hero rapid, uh, I guess, you know, um, reduced time to value. You, you don't have to build the infrastructure, you don't have to maintain it, you can essentially buy it as a service. Uh, give us a quick bit of insight into how that relationship came about and, and the, the approach you took to uh, bringing Ericsson into your project and into the business and how that partnership formed and where it's going from here. Um, Ericsson has been a... I mean, Ericsson and Swisscom have been working together for, for many, many years. Um, originally, really, as a, as a classic supplier buyer relationship. Right. But over time, we felt that if we wanted really to be a technology leader, to be at the edge, we, we, had, we really, really had to get closer. Fantastic. And, uh, this is the partnership that we have today. Yeah, there's an interesting kind of, uh, series of demos here we've seen today where uh, with network slicing we're seeing that people are now just seeing that they can get that capability, they can uh, deploy a lot of what Ericsson's making available on their existing sunk investment and cost uh, and, and kind of retask existing infrastructure and just get that additional ROI from it. Uh, are you finding that's the case with Swisscom where you've got a, a sunk cost and current investment in infrastructure but you've been able to build on top of that and, and kind of quantum leap the need to rebuild from scratch and get to the focusing and delivering services capability you're talking to humanities, emergencies, uh, and, and all the way through to entertainment and lifestyle? Right. I, I mean, absolutely. Uh, network slicing and, and basically which is building on virtualizing our yep. structure is definitely a, a capability that will, that will enable us to really take more out of our infrastructure. Perfect. But, but I, I have to say, I mean, we're, we're, we're still, I mean, as, as a, we're, we're, I mean, Swisscom is a telco, yeah. an IT company, but originally our core business is in the telco area. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason why we're doing these demos, the reason why we're working with partners is because we are trying heavily to find out what's the right business model. Absolutely. I think there's a couple of key challenges that I've seen from what you've been announcing yourselves with Ericsson here, and that is that uh, traditional telcos are having to digitally disrupt themselves internally in the way they operate and, and leverage technology for their own purposes on how they offer services out to their customers. Their customers want the Kardashian uh, celebrity experience from the whole journey of signing up instantly, getting better services, integrating. Um, how do you glue the 5G core component to the capabilities that network slicing and orchestration and cloud services all build together? I and mean, that's a non-trivial challenge. In your role as an architect looking through all of that, how do you approach that from a design point of view, a minimum viable product test, and then actually getting something out in the field and build it to the point where you can demo at an event like this? What's that journey look like? All right, I'm not sure I can answer that. that <laughs> it is a big question. Maybe <laughs> you're part of it. Maybe you're part of it. Um, at Swisscom, our strategy has been first to 
digitalize our infrastructure. So we've been virtualizing right. the infrastructure that is sustaining the racket core. The second step is then to transform the uh, 4G core that we have today into a core that can support 5G. And when we have, once we have this capability in place, the, the final step will be to put on top all of the automation and, and orchestration capabilities that really allow us to then not just support one use case, but support many use cases. I love that. That's a fantastic series of key points to wrap up on. You're digitizing your, your core business and infrastructure. You're, you're leveraging what you've got now and building on top of that. And now you're looking at all the different use cases and, and, and I guess productizations and monetization opportunities to add value to existing customers. And I guess attract new customers as well. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for making time to catch up with me. Really appreciate it. Folks, you've got some great insight with what's happening with this team around the architecture and design, what's happening with Swisscom, and the collaboration with Ericsson and Ericsson's 5G core, network slicing and other technologies. Thanks for joining us in the video. We'll see you in the next one. This is Des. Thank you again for your time. You're welcome. Bye -bye. Cheers.